What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy John 25. But today I'm going to do my AEW Dynamite anniversary review and highlights. You guys can hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Now, AEW was a good show. That's all I got to say. All right, we're kicking things off with Best Friends versus FTR for the AEW World Tag Team Champions. This tag team match was fantastic. All right, Chuck and Clash started off, and the crowd is hot. Shoulder block, shoulder, shoulder block by um, Cash. Reset the reset lockup. Arm wrench by Cash. Tag tag to Dax. Arm wrench by by him. Kip up and and Chuck frees himself to a shoulder block. Dax twice followed by an arm drag. T tag tag to Trent. Double shoulder block. Trent wrenches arm of Dax on the ground. Dax gets gets to his feet and grabs the hair of Trent to lead to lay him in the corner. Knife edge chop, elbow trade, chops and shots trade. Dax goes for a goes for a, go a first suplex and Trent rolls for a sunset and and Dax tags cash in, in midair. Back suplex by Dax followed followed by a pin attempt by Cash. Bonic, bonic elbow and shot in the corner. Cash choke Trent on the bottom rope. Drop toe hold by follow by a cover by Dax. Um, Dax in Dax in control with a back elbow slingshot neck choke on the second rope to Trent. They hang him over to apron as Dax wrenches on. Cash shoulder thirsts him off. The tag to Dax who who perched Trent on the outside with shots. Trent fired back and slides back in for a tag. But Dax grabs the leg to isolate back in back in FTR's corner. Tag to Cash. Grounded and Benjamin stretch by Cash. Trent close on himself free and Dax comes in to regulate regulate matter. Suplex by super, super back suplex by Dax. Both men are down and Dax ta tags and Cash. Um, Cash goes for a splash but Trent gets two knees up and high tag. Tag Chuck. He clears house. Top in time by Chuck. Chuck goes to suplex. Dax back in and Toll uh, sweep, sweeps his leg, allowing a near fall on Chuck. Chuck grabs Tolly and FTR takes advantage. Best friends toward, toward such, uh, such and soon enough. And they hit a soul food and a running knee strike to Cash get a near fall for Trent. Cash tags and Dax and they do an assist pop up powerbomb followed by a double team wheelbarrow buster for two. Drop. Backdrop by Dax gets another two count. FTR tries to set set Trent up for he. FTR tries to set Trent up top, but he fights off his foes. Dax catch him, catches him and goes for another super back super back plex, but Trent rolls on top for a two count. Chuck comes in but gets a rolling DDT by Cash. Trent hits a tornado DDT to Cash, but then Dax. Hits his own DDT on Trent for a near fall. Best friends hits their finisher on Dax, but Cash barely makes the save with a headbutt. Cash hits a brain buster on the outside to Chuck and Trent runs out to to take him over the barricade. Cash sends Trent heads first onto the ringside arcade arcade cabin that was being played by Kip and Penelope. Cash gets him back in the ring, and Trent is out for FTR try to send him to the ropes. FTR goes for a good, good night express, but Chuck distracts, and Trent DDTs Cash down. Chuck slugs it with Dax, and soon after, Cash smacks Chuck in the head with a tag belt, then get the pinfall. The winner and still your AEW Tag Team Champions, FTR. This tag team match itself was good. Alright, let's move on. Post-match best friends embrace as Miro comes out to attack both men. Kip is in is in tall and they clear the ring for their upcoming match together. We go to break. So Miro, so they was getting into an argument over a video game. That was that was cringe by itself. So so um, Kip Saban and Miro are good, yes, but they but why would they few in? Why would they feel with best friends over a video game? It doesn't even make sense. Alright, so Miro and Kip Saban versus um, Lee Johnston and Sean, and Sean Maluta. This match was quick. 
It says Miro is just dominating over both men. Kip doesn't get a tag even. He locks the mula in his camel clutch and it's over. The winners Kip Sabin and Miro. Alright, let's all right, let's move on. Then so this promo was too long. Um it says Miro it says it says Miro and Kip are still upset about the arcade cabin and calls out the best friends backstage. Archer is attacking Mosley viciously in the hallway as Jake Jake Roberts watches on on with sacrifices. Satisfaction. This problem was too long. MJF and um, MJF comes out after the commercial break and, and and trashes the trash fans in Jacksonville. MJF says he is here to stay on top, just like the man who he who he's about to introduce out here. His groundbreaker announcement. Chris Jericho. He does he does come out with the inner circle and the jacket MJF gifted them. Them will expect for Sammy Guerrero. All right, Sammy Guerrero. I mean, I'm sorry. MJF gives Sammy Guerrero his jacket, and after Chris de demands Sammy to put it on, it's huge on him. Max commands Jericho and hair, physical and hair. He touches Jericho's hair. Chris Jericho tells him to cut the you know what and get to the announcement. MJF says, hustily, and he's gonna keep it real. The two biggest draw. Are looking eye to eye. That's why Chris is the, the demo guy, and MJF is a the radiant ruler. A crowd boos and the bad nickname. MJF states that somehow, some way, he and Chris have never gotten the square circle. When you watch animals on TV, surfically, um, parents, and they didn't eat each other. They both predators. However, their prey is adapting. Adapting. What if the what if they work together? MJF is having a hard time saying he like to join the inner circle, but he somehow managed to monster something out. Ortiz interrupts and he says they didn't want Max in the inner circle. Chris settles it down and, and says to let them all uh, think it over. Next week, how about? Them two have a steak dinner. Max Max accepts the challenge as the as a restaurant next week. Okay, then that this segment itself was too that segment itself was too long, but I enjoyed it for what it was, even though it was too long. Britt Baker and Tony Siobhan are both getting work on the as on the spot. Britt Britt says rule number five of being a role model is being a baddest, you know what, on the planet. Britt noticed Tony is naked. Has him get a chest wax. Red makes her, her epic comeback next week. AEW TNT Champion Orange Cassidy versus Cody Rose. This match was fantastic. I love this match. It says um the winner the time limit draws and still your AEW TNT Champion Cody Cody Rose. I cannot wait to see this see this rematch again next week. So this match itself was good. I gotta get AEW down to my credible credits due. All right, backstage Archer and Roberts are with Alex Marvez, and it comes Moxley for for an attack. Back in Daily Place, Matt Hardy is is with Tony Schiavone and his Hardy family. He says he's 100% healthy and ready to return to the ring. Up on the screen is Sammy Guerrero, who says he's the one he's the one who attacked Matt and made his life life hell. Matt challenged Sammy Guerrero once more. Okay then. Back from the break, there there are four teams and that will compete to go up against FTR at full gear for the belts. Tony Giovanni has a lottery turn thingy with FTR and pulls the out uh, private party. Silver and Reynolds, the Butcher and and the Blade and the final teams. The Young Bucks. All teams are in the ring. Bucks and FTR aggressively shake hands. Nick Jackson gets on the mic and tells Tony to relax. They super kick Alex Reynolds and the Blade. Chaos ensures Private Party and the Bucks are the remaining teams in the ring as FTR and Tony watches on. The Bucks super kiss Private Party. Okay then. So we get 
AEW Women's Championship, Big Swell versus Hikaru Shida. This match was sloppy. Sloppy matches. The winner and still your AEW Women's Champion, Hikaru Shida. Alright, let's move on. Eddie Kingston comes out with the Lucha Brothers and they approach the commentator's table. We cut to a video of Sean Spears. He says he's not stalking Scorpio Sky, but, but Sky stole a, a moment of him. Therefore, he owns Spears a, mom, a, a moment, a moment him and totally playing on uh, collecting. We go, we go to commercial break as Eddie Kingston plans to be on commentator for the main event, which is, which is now on, uh, which is now no DQ. Main event, no disqualification match for the AEW World Championship. Lance Archer versus John Mosley. This match was fantastic. I love this match. It says the winner is still your AEW World Champion, John Moxley. Post match, Kingston tells the Lucha Brothers to go in the ring, and they hit Archer with they with their chair, but it doesn't praise him. He he and Jake leave. Eddie and the Lucha Brothers uh, friggin' friendship with Ma with Mox, who is who is suspicious, and Eddie his his back elbow before. Buzzing, buzz killing Max out. M Max out. K Eddie Kingston yells he's never tapped in the middle of the ring. Episode ends as Eddie holds the, holds the belt. This, the AEW Dynamite was a good show. That's all I gotta say. If you guys, if you guys enjoy my AEW Dynamite anniversary review and highlights, drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll leave my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. On my NXT review and highlights. My name is Bitboy John25. I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm out of here. Peace out, guys.